Listen up, readers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today in Action Figure News, we got all the figures, well, at least, I'm pretty sure it's the ma- majority of them, of the Jack Specific figures were announced. Which, uh, I'm going to say it now, one of these figures is super spoilery. We're going to save it for the last figure. Boo. So, we'll warn you guys again once we get to that figure if you guys don't want to be spoiled for the movie. Uh, I've been already spoiled, so they they need to be spoiled, too, because I didn't know about it until you showed it to me, Steve. I know, right? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyways, it's kind of, it's a, like, you got teased in the trailer for it. It's yeah. just now it's official. Anyways, uh, first and foremost, we are getting the gigantic Jack-specific Godzilla. Like the last time. Problem is, it looks the exact same as the last time. Even has the speaker box for the not speaker sport. But it had bigger spines. You don't know. From the picture, it's the exact same one. But I'm hoping that's, that's just like a placeholder, and they're gonna because I feel like you could change the spines pretty easy on that figure. So I'm hoping it's just 2014 body. They changed the spines. Call it a day. And that's just like the prototype version. It's just like a you know like the figures put in the box for a placeholder. That's what I'm hoping. See, that's not true, though, Steve, because remember the last time the box was red, this one's blue. Well, now I can keep one in the box. That is true. Problem is, is we'd have to open it <laughs> for oh. video purposes. And another thing, my most favorite thing that's coming out, is you and me can finally do the Chewbacca thing, Steve. Oh, the Godzilla mask? Yeah. We'll just oh, yeah. Mask I'm excited on. for those. They look horrible. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the but che- they have a f- sounds. Yeah, that's why I said we can finally do that. In its forehead. Which is weird for me. Oh, you, you see that? Like, like the speaker thing is like right in its center of its head. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Like the roars come out of the mouth, but whatever. You think it would have been like underneath? I know like you wouldn't hear it as clearly, but it'd make more sense. Oh no. Godzilla sounds come from his forehead. Sure. Better than, the, better than the other Godzilla, the NECA one where it comes out of his butt. I can't argue. <laughs> I want to, but I, I can't. But, yeah, I'll I'll probably... Jessica was like, are you really going to buy that? Yeah. If I see it, I'm snagging it. Because it's going to go on the wall. I'm going to mount it like a skull. It's going to be like a deer head. It just needs to be like... Exactly. Uh, We are also going to get... It kind of makes me sad that there's not like a mid-sized Godzilla figure. Like, we're getting a 12-inch one, too. Which, that one looks like it's from the new, new movie. It's a new mold. That one actually looks pretty good. Like, it's not going to be super articulate or anything, but... Oh my god, Steve, the nightmares of Caesarzilla are coming back to me. You know, I'm trying to remember the gimmick. I was going to take a picture because people were asking, like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm trying to remember, I think Caesarzilla was the one with the ball. Yeah, it's the he one with the like, ball. He had to, like, jiggle the ball, and he was like... <laughs> like he's spazzing out. We're just going to have to bring him in one of the Stevie toys so people can actually see him. Yeah, well, thankfully, we're not getting those. Like... For the most part, the sets remind me a lot of, like, the city destruction sets that Bandai put out for the original movie. Yeah. It looks like we're just getting, like, a crap ton of that, which I'm actually okay with. That was probably the best thing that came out of that movie that we got stateside anyways, was those little sets. But we are getting the 12-inch tall version, too. Looks cool. That one I'm actually really excited for, because that might be, like, a pseudo, like, X-plus replacement. Maybe. I doubt it. But it's something, like... I don't think it'd be expensive enough to where I feel like I couldn't buy two to repaint one. You know what I'm super sad about is the one that I really want to get is the one that's super spoiled just because of what it comes with. Yeah, we'll get to it. <laughs> uh, but there'll be normal size figures for both uh, King Ghidorah and Rodan that also come with destruct- uh, destructible buildings and little vehicles. Which those actually, those don't look bad per se. Like, to me, they seem very, like, Bandai vinyl in terms of, like, the depth of what we've been getting with was, uh, the first movies. I was about to compare them to quality of Bandai vinyl, vinyls. Ah. Yeah, like, it, it's, like, a lot like the Mudo and the uh, original Godzilla Bandai vinyl in terms of yeah. uh, the detailing on them. But they're going to be, like, hard plastic. Like, the Ghidorah looks like it has, like, bendable wings. Well, not bendable, but it's on a hinge. So you'll be able to move it. The Rodan looks a little bit articulated. Uh, 
And then we finally will be getting little play sets. I'm super excited about those play sets because they actually come with things. Yeah, because like come with things. Uh, the first two that aren't spoilery is you get a Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, and it comes with like a backdrop that, like, from the picture far away, it looks like a football stadium, right? Yeah. And so you'll be able to have like your monsters fighting with the backdrop, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think those come with broken buildings too. Uh, there is a Godzilla and a Rodan one, which that one's the mountainside. Where, like, the uh, where Rodan first comes out of, which is pretty neat. I know it's a Godzilla movie, but they come with a lot of Godzilla stuff. That was what the Bandai was. It was like, if you wanted to buy, like, the extra buildings, you had to always buy a Godzilla and which version of the Mudo you wanted. But they all were like, Godzilla something, Godzilla something, Godzilla something. So because of that, I'm hoping that, like, Godzillas are actually different in a way. I'm, I'm hoping. Maybe they do something oh, different. Okay, I'm sorry. Because for the last one, spoiler. We are at the spoiler figure. So if you don't want to watch it, um, shut it off. <laughs> yeah, just end the video. You're good. <laughs> but, all right, so here we go. Uh, the final one is the Mothra pack. That comes with what appears to be a burning Godzilla. He's that that a lot of it reminds me from the Netflix original Godzilla, because it looks like he uh, does them whole molecule things and he shakes them when he overheats and yeah, then he comes back to normal. That's kind of what I'm thinking it might do in the movie from looking at it because the figure has the red spines and like the red in its legs. Yeah, it doesn't it look like the whole like the Godzilla planet thing? A little bit, because what I'm thinking is, is probably, like, it exerted too much radiation, and it overheats, and then it dispels that heat as a beam. Yeah. Something think, like that, maybe? And I think that's how he's going to be king. I'd assume. It's probably going to be, like, the end of the movie, so you'd be, like, god mode activated. And then, that overheating is going to cause a problem that's going to lead to Kong versus Godzilla. Like, maybe they have to have, like... They need a monster in order to subdue Godzilla so that they can, de- like, inject him with something so or attempt to little, kill him. Little so they thing, send the gorilla. The little gorilla in the comparison. So I, I seen the photo. It's like... It's like half his size. It'll be fine. He's going to, like, climb on top of Godzilla and shove a tree in his mouth. It'll be okay. It, like I said, it just needs to be as good as the original. That's all I'm asking. And then the backdrop for that figure is, like, a temple. Which is cool. The Mothra actually doesn't look that bad. No, doesn't it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look that bad. I feel like, though, the backdrops are a little bit more spoiling than the figures itself because it tells you where they'll be fighting. Well, at. that's even necessary if they're fighting there. Like, it's just like scenes you've seen from the trailer and parts you've seen from the movie. So, like, you get, like, like you're getting both the monsters with a scene that happened in the movie. They might not necessarily fought there, but it's just like them trying to give you more bang for your buck. Yeah. And then maybe, like, the monsters didn't fight, but this is, like, a way for, like, your imagination to make them fight. I guess so. That would make sense. But that's pretty much it out of the figure spoiled. Um, so hopefully there's, like, maybe some more stuff, like a, a mid-sized Godzilla to go with the other ones with broken buildings and stuff. That would it be seems nice. weird, that, weird that we're getting, like, a Ghidorah, a Rodan, and then giant Godzillas. How big is the big guy? Is he like how many inches? Uh, I think he's about twelve inches. The big guy. Well, the big big one is the exact same one I got home. So he's like two feet tall. Sixty four. Uh, inches long. Yeah. Big boy. He's sixty four inches long. Well, so. no, he's like forty eight. I think or he's is like he forty eight. I think he's like twenty four ish by forty eight. That might. As a like, he ain't six feet long, but he's he takes up an end table. <laughs> I am really worried about that one because, like you said, it looks exactly the same. Which leads me to believe that I could skip that one. Like, I might pick it up because it's a tax write-off and need it for video purposes, but the I don't views, need man. it. The views. Yeah, that's kind of it. Like, we're going to have to have, like, a giant pile of Jack-specific video. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh. There's the little packs. It's the mask. We got... I kind of wish they were doing, like, some more random stuff. They might be doing more, but, like, it's kind of weird that they just have masks. 
Well, like the first time I saw the thing, I was sorely upset because I didn't see any Mothra until he showed me the spoiling one. Yeah, I was like, hey, look, there's a Mothra. He's like, God bless it, Steve. <laughs> and when I thought about it, I only outcome out of this. And also, like, how come we're not getting a big, like a bigger Mothra? Which makes me to believe that, uh, depending on how these do, we'll probably get like another wave with more stuff. Yeah. Because again, it seems odd that we like we don't get like a middle point Mothra. I know it's not good quality, but you guys better go support that line when it comes out. Well, they're, they're, they're meant for kids. Like, this is the hardcore meant for kids line, which I, I'm okay with. They Like, they look fine. I would have been happy with those when I was younger. Because you know what I want, Steve? I want a huge Mothra, like the size. Oh, no, I want that, like, I want, if they did more 12 inches, I think I would buy all of them. Oh, no, no, no I'm problem. talking about the 48 inch. I oh, want, the big, big dude? I would hang that from the <laughs> ceiling right here in the middle of us. It'll be either Mothra or King Ghidorah just hanging right here. Both. <laughs> Let them fight on the ceiling there. God, I'd do the same thing. I just have them like my office, just like hanging in the rafters. <laughs> just random spots, just guys hanging off the ceilings. Yeah, so other than that, like the spoiler stuff. Uh it just makes me think more about how the burning effect's gonna happen. Because it's already been kind of stated that the destroy uh, oxygen destroyers in the movie. Yeah. Which Makes sense with burning Godzilla. So if we're getting oxygen destroyer and burning Godzilla, but you what think shoots, we might get destroyer? But what shoots the oxygen destroyer though? I don't like I th- oh, I can't remember if they posted pictures, but like I imagine they wouldn't change it too much, right? It'd just be like the orb in the tube and bubbles. Yeah. They but what I, like is it gonna like they're gonna try to kill him on the water? Like I would assume. Like, it'd be a nice homage to the original. Yeah, he's just swimming underwater and they shoot it. I hope that's the end of the movie. Is like, he has to, like, go cool down or something. He's just, like, swimming and you see Skull Island in the background. I want that to be, like, the end. That would be a nice ending right there. Yeah, just, like, tease and you get the con roar at the end. You're welcome. Even though the film's already, it's already filmed, but still, you're welcome. Because I don't know any other way you can really, like, tease con. I don't think you can. Because there's already so many monsters. I also like that the director, too, wants that Biolante in the sequel. He wants Biolante and Gigan. Which, Gigan's a stretch. I guess it all depends on how, like, uh, they introduce King Ghidorah for the movie. Like, if it's going to be a space monster. Gigan I hope so. would be amazing. Well, the problem is if Ghidorah is, like, grounded, I don't know how you do Gigan. But if, guy, if, if they decide to do Ghidorah and make him a space monster for what's been so far a fairly realistic series. Yeah, where are the aliens for the guy gang going to come from, huh? Yeah, that, that, that would be the thing. Like, it's just like the third movie, like, you, you just, like, toss in aliens now. Which I guess would be whatever, like, I don't care. Not unless they somehow include the aliens living on planet Earth this whole time. Because I'm still waiting for, uh... To watch the movie and what's her face is going to be kind of like our fairies, you know the girl from Stranger Things. I'm Millie, I think. I'm trying. I'm forgetting her name, but uh, I I assume like we're we gotta have like the Godzilla conversation right in the movie, where like Mothra, Rodan, and Godzilla are conversating about teaming up to defeat Ghidorah, and then we're gonna have the monsters fighting between themselves, and she's gonna be like, going on about how the conversation's going. I expect that to happen. Although, what's the red you know, maybe, maybe the red's like him, like he has to like spirit bomb it. Like he has to like charge that like for so long that he gets the red. So the other two monsters have to keep him at bay while he's like spirit bombing in the background. Going full red burning. You know, I was thinking about this. How's Haru going to get this uh, twin pregnant? She's kind of young, <laughs> ain't she? <laughs> Watching you, you sick bastard. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Just gonna have what's his face knocking on Haru's door. Like, we need. Have a seat, have a seat. (laughs) Why is there pizza? (laughs) God. Uh, Oh, man, I can't remember anybody's name anymore. uh, Chris. No. Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's Have a seat, take a seat. Have a seat. (sighs) That's what's going to happen to Haru. She said she was 18. She said she was 3,000 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Dragon Maid. 
Oh. It's still funny that it took probably one of the worst movie series I've seen in a while to finally, finally get the band of fairy girls. And I pay my respects for that movie for that part, at least. I know. Haru got laid in 2018 and only 2018. Because <laughs> <laughs> he got shooted. Uh, but let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Jack specific figures. And if you guys are excited about picking them up. I know I'm actually more excited than I thought I'd be. Yeah. Because I just thought it was going to be like the big guys little call of the day. And we're actually getting a bunch more from them. I just... One thing I'm worried about is their price. Is it going to be like the normal fourteen ninety eight Walmart prices for I them? I don't think they'd be expensive. Like the the Bandai ones weren't even pricey either when they came out. And yeah. then the Jack, like the big ones, were like fifty bucks. I want to say. Granted, we sold one for like a hundred and something, but it was like fifty bucks. <laughs> we sold it for one hundred fifty four, and then like we paid forty. I felt like a shipping. horrible person, but they didn't have to bet. No, no, we paid like forty. Eight bucks for the shipping. And you gave them the free shipping. So they're welcome. Didn't make that much off of it. Yeah. <sighs> like That's like the one time I've scalped something. So Walmart should have these toys then, huh? I would assume. Yeah, because Toys R Us. Yeah, was, yeah so there's the Toys R Us. So it's like that Target would probably be your best bet. Or when they... Uh, I'm sure the pre-orders will drop soon Big Bad. I might just go... But the problem with doing that is... Uh, Everybody else would get them before I would then. Yeah. So I still would have to like try to hunt them down but cancel my pre-order as soon as possible. <laughs> so we'll wait and see. Oh, also, just want to reiterate, we are having a t-shirt con- contest. It ends the February 6th. And by t-shirt contest, we actually mean you draw something and then send it to us in some way, shape, or form. Not giving us idea, but actually draw it out. Yep. So just like Photoshop, GIMP, whatever you got. Microsoft Paint. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yep. Send us your designs, and whoever wins, uh, could be up to three, we'll get free t-shirts. And also sign t-shirts of your guys' design. And help us defeat those guys just by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.